my task is to talk to you about the implications of big data for health. And I am going to take a slightly different approach to this. I only have five minutes, I admit to that, even though professors are used to speaking for three hours at a time. Um, I'm only going to, I'm only going to speak for five minutes, but here's my, here's my analogy. 75 years ago today, the Germans and the American forces uh, collided in Cologne, Germany. Uh, and this became one of the most famous tank battles of World War II. My wife, who is with me tonight, thank you, sweetie, um, loves to study history. She really loves it because you're able to see the consequences of choices play out over many, many, many years. It's hard to overstate how much the, earth, the world reset from 1939 to 1945. So many things we have today are a consequence of World War II. Penicillin owes its roots to the Second World War. So do radar and jets, nuclear energy, rockets, helicopters, consumer debt came as a policy after World War II. Um, the highways that we drive on, the internet, some even have suggested that uh, the civil rights movement that happened uh, later was started because of racial integration that happened during the Second World War. And I could go on and on about the impacts of the Second World War. So, where am I possibly going with this? In 2020, we are on a quest to digitize the world. Everything and every day, we produce more and more data, and health is no different. In fact, our production's only rising. Big data and the tools that go with it are dramatically shaping our modern world. It has already changed the way that we shop, the way that we clean, the way that we research, the way that we work, the way that we communicate, how we socialize, how we date, maybe even how we vote. And it's shaping the way that we see the world. We're on an exponential data curve. The digital ecosystem is estimated to be 50 zettabytes. Now, I had no idea what a zettabyte was when I found that out, but it is 50 trillion gigabytes. And just for your reference, a million seconds ago was about 11 days. A billion seconds ago was 31 and a half years. A trillion seconds ago happened in 30,000 BC, right? We're talking about volumes and sizes that we can't even easily understand. And this vast amount of information is sparking new insights and new opportunity, and it's impacting health. In the way that, that the Second World War impacted uh, the 75 years that have followed and continues to impact our lives today, we won't see the effects of big data for decades to come, and we, we won't see the full effects of, of big data for decades to come, and we're only at the beginning of this transformation. But here's a few ways that I think that big data is impacting health right now. First, big data will, and in fact it must, lead to increased medical safety and transparency. Right now, predictive analytics and EMR data are being used to study patient safety, uh, including issues like near-miss medication errors. Sensors are being used to predict pressure ulcers before they start. And businesses across all sectors are using big data to become more efficient and to improve their business processes and to become more customer-centric. Medicine needs to use big data to do the same. Ultimately, big data will, uh, will uh, will improve costs, will decrease costs, because of better risk prediction and more accurate patient flow estimation. And given our current situation in Alberta, these two ideas are absolutely vital to our health system right now. Big, big data will help us switch from reactive care to more proactive and preventive care. As we digitize everything, it gives us a lens into the community, into food, into activity, and other biographic information. Of course, big data includes precision medicine and precision public health, which promises to deliver tailored medical treatments, but also personalized public policy and customized healthcare delivery. Big data will improve information security and moving to cloud-based solutions adds additional security and traceability. So maybe you're thinking, there's no way that big data will have the same impact of the Second World War. And maybe you're right, but humanity's quest to digitize the world is changing us and it's changing health. Our job is to use the transformative power that it brings to ensure that those changes reflect the shared values 
that bring us together as an institute and make sure that the implications of big data in health will benefit all Albertans, all Canadians, and all of humanity. That's what we need to do with the next decade. Thank you.